What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Swingers Hand Hand the Bucket. So, if you follow my Instagram or watch the little update video, the last one that I did, you will recognize this. This is the Snap On uh, F SF 80A half inch flex head ratchet that I found while digging a ditch. I was digging the ditch with an excavator. I pulled, a, you know, pulled a little chunk of dirt out, laid it over here, and I saw something shiny. And so I immediately stopped what I was doing, hopped out of the machine, and unearthed this from the dirt pile. And I was like, God damn, that's a pretty nice one. But it was buried in the dirt for I don't know how long, and it was all fucked up. So first thing I tried to do for shits and giggles is take all the parts out. And I mean, this, this whole thing was full of mud. You can see a picture of it. Uh, just with the case opened up on my Instagram, but it was all, you know, all of the teeth were full of mud, the pole was full of mud, the selector was frozen, it didn't do a damn thing. So, I cleaned all the parts up, put them back in, it still didn't really work, the way that it should anyway. When I go to put torque on it, uh, it would skip a couple teeth, which I think is the result of this thing being, this little spring that goes in there is kind of messed up. So, I went on the internets, and I found me one of these, which after I told some friends that I bought this, they were like, you idiot, they would have just warrantied it. Take it to a Snap-on guy or fucking call Snap-on. They just send it to you. Whatever. I paid 12 bucks for it. I didn't feel like dealing with Snap-on or hunting down a truck. It's only $12, which I still don't understand because that is suggesting that this is a $180 handle. I don't see it. I'm sure it's nice. I'm sure it's real good steel, like some of the best American steel, you know, and... Steve and, and Jim fucking spent, you know, a couple hours making this thing, polishing it up, but I don't see $180 here if that's $12. Regardless, I didn't pay anything for it, so, you know, another man's loss is my gain. Honestly, if I did, like, find this somewhere, I would go looking over the job site to figure out who lost it, but I dug it up out of the dirt. Once it's in the dirt, it's fair game. I do like to return people's tools if I can. I, I would appreciate if people did that for me. But, like I said, it's in the dirt. Fuck it. So, here's the kit. And let's, uh, let's just jump right into it, okay? Philly D style. So, be very careful with these parts. This is all brand new. But I do have backups of everything. I just don't know what I'm going to need brand new. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Comes with a little mini tube of grease. That is nice of them. So, I'm not really even sure where to start. I guess the selector switch. And you can see... That was one of the weakest, worst parts. Look how corroded this one is. It's like not even the original size that it used to be because it's so corroded. So it's going to kind of freshen it up. So I'm going to say that goes in that way. Orient that right. Now, these are tricky ratchets. They're a little more, they're a little trickier than your Craftsman or Husky. I've taken those apart and put them back together blindfolded. But this one, I think you do have to like orient it a certain way. Actually, I'm going to lift this handle up. A little bit with the knife so it's not pressing on that selector so I'm just gonna set it to on I'm gonna try to keep it like that also by the way I lost this thing for like an hour I set everything up to record and could not find this the one part that doesn't come in the kit I was like god damn it I, I just set it on some random shelf that is that is my life so I know this o-ring oh it's got some silicon on it already I think I put that Safe to put that right on there, I think. Right? Yeah. Then, I should have left this together because I'm not really 100% remembering this. It has a ball in here somewhere. There's the ball. I can, I can get it. I'm just going to grab it with these. Now the ball, I'll just keep grabbing it with these, sits down in one of these little pockets depending on whether it's on or off. Then this guy goes like that. And that pin right there goes in that hole. If you can see, right? Does it go like that? No, it goes like that. Whoops. Yes, and the ball goes, you can see the ball sitting down there in that little hole. Now, this is the part that I'm not 100% sure about. Oh, yeah, this thing goes in right there. And I think that's what was screwed up because that, like, pushes the paw into the teeth so you get that good first tooth engagement. And I don't know which way the paw goes, so I'm probably going to screw this up. Yeah, hey, this spring goes in here to put tension on the ball. And this goes in. Yeah, this is the part I'm not sure about. It's got to go over a little bit. Get in there. Come on. I'm going to look like a freaking idiot doing this. 
I pray to God if once this goes in, I hope I get it first try. I just don't know which way, because like the... God damn it. Let me see here. Alright, we got, we got positive snap action. That feels good now. So the... This goes like that. And slide this bastard down in there. This video sucks. Now hopefully this guy will drop right in there on top of the teeth. Maybe I gotta put it in the middle. Middle position. Put it in the middle like that. Oh yeah, that's probably the ticket. Put both of these little little prongers right there, little prongers sticking off. And put both of them in there. I think that's the ticket. So it's in the middle position. That doesn't fucking do anything. I think that's it. I think we have it. Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't all spring sprung everywhere. I'm going to cut this little tube of grease open. Oh, you don't even need to cut it. It's a little easy open guy. A little comfort tip nozzle. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> probably doing this wrong too, but I'm just getting it in the teeth. I'll run it through a couple cycles, take the, I'll save some, and then bada boom bada bing, that goes on, let's see, on, that's loosened, it's backwards, how did the fuck did I put it back together backwards, on and off is backwards, right, that's off, yeah, yeah, no, that's right, I'm just stupid, don't mind me, I'm just stupid. Put this, I'll put the old screws back in because these, we, the new ones come pre loctited And I'm going to put the old ones back in for right now. Just to kind of run it around a little bit, just to hold it together. I think we might have a working $200 ratchet. And... Oh, yeah. Woo! Just burn like a kitten. Oh yeah. I like I don't know if I need I mean I'm still gonna put the rest of that grease in there, but it sounds pretty pretty creamy in there. Oh goddamn ratchet and screwdriver. Yeah. Now it says on the package there to tighten these down to 16 16 inch pounds. Uh I believe that's uh 11% of my arm force. I did some trigonometry earlier, and uh, yeah, it's about 11%, so I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, that spread around in there nice. It's all kinds of juicy everywhere. <laughs> just put more right in there. i put some on this gasket too. I'm sure that... I'm sure some sealant or uh, some grease couldn't hurt. Oh yeah. I'm excited. You know, I, ha I have one of these. I have the, uh, oh man, Steelman Pro Cobra. The breaker bar flex head ratchet. Um, that, that, I mean, I really don't need this ratchet because I have that one. And for the amount of use that this is going to, this isn't going to get like daily tech. Yep. Oh, right there. 16, 16 inch pounds. Yep, right there. Okay. <laughs> And oh yeah, you hear that? She back to life. Uh, I hope you know the original owner of this knows that I took care of her. Oh my God, I don't care. She ain't purdy. but she works good. Oh hell yeah, that was easy. The trick, I don't know. Maybe y'all, probably everybody already knows this. If you ever did this before, rebuilt one, is to uh, set the selector in the middle, and then put both of those little prongs in the selector notches. That way, it's in the middle, and the anvil just drops right in, so. Oh, some ratchet porn. Yeah. Icon what? I dig my tools up. <laughs> so, I'm actually, the, the flex on this is, like, perfect. The tension. I'm really afraid. I'm not going to take this apart. I was going to take the screw out and clean it up better. I'm going to leave it all together. Leave well enough alone, because this thing is freaking sweet now. I'm going to try to, like, you know, it's got some... Uh, that that this shit comes off i'm gonna try to polish it up i was gonna try to get a high polish you know get it back but make it look make it look like it's brand new but you know 
that's not necessary. That's all that matters right there. That right there, yeah. So, that's it. That's how you rebuild a snap-on ratchet for somebody that's never done it before. Here, I need something for the thumbnail. Thanks for watching.